old cars are something I've always liked and been interested in and I feel fortunate to have been able to to buy what I've got and restore what I've got. And my oldest son, Coy, is very good at uh, painting and and doing things and he's he's helped me on a lot and there's a fellow here in Fairmount that's a very good painter and he's the one that's painted most of them and um, most of what I have in here either relates to Jimmy or relates to uh, cars that I used to grow up with and used to remember as a kid and kind of always wanted to have when I was younger and couldn't afford and now I've got a few of them. This car over here is a replica belongs to a friend of mine in Nashville, Tennessee by the name of uh, Brian Hatton. Uh, he built that car in uh, 1985 and he still continues to uh, do things to it to improve it and make it look more like a, an original poor spider. Uh, those cars today, those replicas, uh, probably sell all the way from twenty-five to fifty thousand uh, dollars. A real poor spider, uh, one of those is probably worth half a million dollars today in restored condition. They're they're really a desirable collector car. So there there are several of these replicas, and uh, last year. Um, at the James Dean Run Car Show here in Fairmount that weekend, I think there were uh, three or four of them here that were painted just like Jimmy's and had the 130 number on them. And, uh, but I think this and Brian's is probably one of the best ones that's ever been built. He's really, really went the extra mile to make it like a, a, uh, a real poor spider. This uh, 49 Ford here is uh, a car my dad bought new here in Fairmount, and he had it till 1954, and then he traded it for a new Dodge, and a guy that worked for my dad on the farm bought it, and he had it until 1966, and he gave it to me, and I've had the car since 1966, and we restored it here probably seven or eight years ago. And then the next car I, I bought in here is that uh, 57 Ford retractable hardtop. Um, that the original owner of that car uh, used to own a farm right beside my grandpa Dean's farm, and I can remember when that car was new in 1957. And that's uh, one of the uh, retractables they call them Skyliners that Ford built where the uh, hard top raises up and goes into the trunk and makes it a convertible. And that car originally was all white with green interior. And uh, I bought it off the original owner in uh, 1979. And it was uh, uh, 10 or 11 years before I finally got it restored. But uh, we changed the color scheme on it to red and white. It's a little, little prettier than it was originally. And then, of course, uh, the 56 Ford Crown Victoria. Uh, I had a 56 Ford Victoria when I was in high school. That was my first car. And I always had a, a uh, special thing about 56 Fords, I guess. And, of course, I, I drove mine for about five years and then finally traded it in for another car. And, as I got older, I wish I'd have kept my original car, and I always liked uh, what they call Crown Victoria, which is what that car is. It's got the, the big white chrome strip going over the roof. I bought that off a fellow that uh, uh, had uh, he'd gotten it from a, a fellow that brought it up from Texas, and I uh, seen it here at the car show. And of course, it wasn't restored then. It was just a uh, matter of fact. The car had most of the original paint on it, and it was rust-free. It's it a very solid car, and uh, we took it apart and had the engine overhauled and detailed the engine compartment and uh, had a lot of the chrome rechromed on it and re had it repainted. And it, it's a very, very nice and very solid car. Uh, of course, the, the one beside it's a 56 Thunderbird. I've always, uh, I've always liked the Thunderbirds, and 
I guess I kind of parceled a Fords for some reason, but uh, as I was growing up, I can remember when the, the 55 Thunderbirds came out, which was the first first year for Thunderbird. Of course, the 55, 56, and 57s are uh, the most popular of, of all the Thunderbirds because those were the two seaters, and then in 58, uh, Ford switched the Thunderbird over to a, a bigger car. They were, they were a fancy car, but they weren't a sports roadster like these are. And uh, that car originally came from California, and it was just more or less a driver car when I got it. It was rust-free too, but uh, it had been repainted three or four times, and uh, you know definitely needed to be took apart and detailed and. We took the body clear off the frame on that car and uh, put it on a rotisserie and cleaned the underneath of it and did a, did a full restoration on it. And then the uh, other car here is a 1950 Mercury. Uh, that's very similar to the 49 Mercury Jimmy drove in Rebel without a cause. Uh, that car there is all original. Uh, the paint's all original, the chrome's all original. I think the right front fender was repainted at some time, but uh, the rest of the car is, is totally original. And it's very unusual to, to find a car uh, that old that still has the original paint and so forth on it. And uh, you know, I'm, I feel very fortunate to have it. Uh, the tractor up here in the corner is one my dad bought new, and 54 is a Minneapolis Moline uh, diesel and uh, when Jimmy was home last time in February 55 why uh, Dennis and Jimmy were taking a lot of pictures and uh, Jimmy wanted a picture uh, with a tractor so uh, dad got the tractor out and uh, there were several photos of of Jim and Dad with that tractor, and we've had it. Dad, Dad farmed with it from '54 until his death in 1976, and uh, we've just always kept it there on the farm. And here this past year, why we restored it, had the engine overhauled, and uh, sandblasted the complete tractor, and uh, completely repainted it, put new tires on it, and and. Uh, this other car here is a Model A, it's 29 Model A Ford. It's just a car that I've always kind of liked, the Model A's. And back in the corner is a 28 Model A Ford that's, uh, it's all original. It's never been painted or anything either. I've always been interested in uh, antique cars. Of course, when I was growing up uh, in high school, these cars weren't antiques. Uh, they were they were the cars of the day.